you feel guilty. For most people, it's a chore, but for John Tapp, work was, and is, a way of life. Little horse with the unlikely name of Too Much Trouble. <laughs> Isn't it a great name? And while these days he's retired from race calling, Tappy will never tire of racing. I love everything about racing. I, I love the whole broad spectrum of the theatre of racing. They're off in the slipper. I'd certainly do it all again. I mean, how lucky was I to spend 33 years giving thousands of Australians an earache talking about my favourite subject. Encounter has run off the track, is lunging again as they hit the line and, oh, it's close. There weren't too many horses or people Tappy didn't see good in. But in saying that, he had his favourites, which he shares in his new book, Memoirs of a Race Caller. Kingston Town can't win. But when he couldn't win, he did. And that's why Tappy rates the King the best of them all. By a country mile. Yeah, he was electric. The way he used to leave his opponents gasping when Malcolm Johnston stepped on the gas. What a sight. Jern skipped the length and a half in front of Paris Lane. Umpala battling on and then came Alcove. Jern two and a half in front. Umpala the race that gave me the greatest thrill of all was a race I didn't get to call. Jern has won the Melbourne Cup. Jern a length and a half and how easy for him. Paris Jern Lane was written by Wayne Harris, whose story was so well documented. Accident after accident, mishap after mishap, illness after illness. Tragic circumstances had surrounded Wayne's life. When he went past the post on Jern, I jumped six feet in the air. And then there was Jack Denham, the interview that broke 50 years of silence. I can't claim any credit for that. That was Jack's idea. <laughs> 